Mayor's Weekly News Conference. Today, we have four items on the agenda. We'll announce, announce a grant from ECRA, uh, our EIP consultant, a reminder regarding large item pickup and quality of life ticketing, and an explanation of the work, the group work camps home repair. Now I'll turn it over to the mayor. Thank you. Thanks, Renee. Good morning, everyone. Uh, Today's really big news is the Mission Main Street grant that the Erie County Gaming and Revenue Authority has granted to the city. And I'd like to welcome Perry Wood, the Executive Director of ECRA, to come up and join me here at the podium. Thanks. Thank you. Perry. Good morning, everyone. Uh, there's really three groups that uh, I'd like to recognize whenever we make an announcement like this. First is our delegation to Harrisburg, uh, folks like Senator Laughlin and Representative Ryan Bizarro that represent us down there. Secondly is local government, uh, the county executive and uh, county council. And the third is the ECRA board of directors. Uh, these are folks from all seven uh, districts uh, all across the county and they spend countless hours volunteering every year to research, uh, to read these grants and then to make the final decisions uh, on the awards. Uh, there are dozens of main streets all across Erie County from uh, northeast to Girard from Independence Hill down to the city of Cory, but the central business district that we're in right now is the largest of these groups. They're places of great economic impact. Uh, they host small businesses. They're the, uh, the central place for uh, government services. They're central parks. They have parades uh, and events. The ECRA Board of Directors designed the Mission Main Street grant to recognize this and to provide financial incentives to help these groups and local governments move forward on their revitalization plans. Uh, other plans back this up as well. Emerge 2040, Erie Refocus, the Urban Land Institute, they've all determined that the built environment is really important to the revitalization process. And so that's why I'm really happy to be here today on behalf of the Ecker Board of Directors to announce uh, a grant for $250,000 for phase one of the City of Erie's streetscape plan. Thanks, Mayor. Congratulations. Thank you, Perry, and I like your beard, by the way. Uh, I know a good joke about a beard, but I got all joked out last night, so I'm not going to be telling jokes here at all. Uh, next, uh, I'd like to invite John Tushak to come up and give us some details on what's going to happen with the streetscaping program. John. Hi. Uh, this project is uh, based primarily on the uh, Erie Downtown Streetscape Master Plan that was prepared way back in 2010. And it's, it's essentially going to include street trees and landscaping, stormwater management, and concrete rehabilitation. Okay, more specifically, I'll just read from the, from the application here. Uh, the, the limits of work are going to be on State Street from 3rd Street to about 12th Street. And we're going to remove broken and settled uh, brick pavers and concrete between the curb and the sidewalk. And then we're going to construct green space between the curb and the sidewalk with sufficient area for street trees, landscaping, and stormwater management compliant with the complete streets concepts. And then we're going to, the existing decorative lighting fixtures resulting from five different lighting projects we did along State Street are all compliant with the streetscape master plan, but the existing trees really aren't. So this project is going to remove and trim uh, the offending trees and, and plant some new street trees, which are compliant with the proper spacing as to not block or impede the lighting provided by the fixtures. And then uh, lastly, we're going to construct concrete lead walks between the curb and the sidewalk to accommodate pedestrian needs between the street and sidewalk for parking vehicles and to accommodate other complete street concepts such as benches, tables and receptacles, waste receptacles. Oh, and one more. We're going to repair uh, broken or settled areas on the main pedestrian sidewalk where hazards exist. And the total of that project would be about $250,000. Any questions? Thank you. 
Thank you, John, for giving us the details how this street staking program would work. And Perry, again, thank you very much for the donation, and we look forward to continuing to work with you going forward. Implementation of this streetscape master plan is an important step for us in realizing our vision of a world-class downtown and bayfront. And my team is committed to finding the funding to continue with this. Next, we are in the process of signing a contract with our consultant for the early intervention plan. After seeking proposals and interviewing three different consultants, we have selected Public Financial Management Group Consulting, or PFM for short, and they are headquartered in Philadelphia. We saw PFM as uniquely qualified to lead the development of the city's five-year plan. Over 10 years ago, it was PFM that actually developed the prototype for what's become the early intervention plan here in Pennsylvania. They have served as a consultant for many cities as well since then, so they've got a lot of really good experience. They have a vast experience and a wide network of expertise which they can draw on. We are impressed with their understanding of the city of Erie, and even in their application, they really offered several very good suggestions for how we can get started improving Erie. The engagement lead will be PFM Managing Director Dean Kaplan, the project manager for this will be PFM Director Gordon Mann, who has supported multi-year planning engagements for multiple municipalities here in Pennsylvania and will manage the comprehensive plan as well as the plan development. We are currently finalizing the PFM contract and they will begin work hopefully in the next few weeks here. The first step for us will be to sit down with the PFM to review specific goals, opportunities, and challenges that we face. My team and I will work closely with them throughout the entire process. I also want to restate my commitment to implementing the changes that PFM recommends. Please hold me accountable to do that. I don't expect that this will happen, but if we do not implement a certain recommendation, there will be a very good reason which I will explain in detail. The next item for today is our large item in quality pick up and implementation of our quality of life ticketing. I want to provide a reminder to, to everyone about the new large item pickup and the implementation of our quality of life ticketing program. With the new year-round large item pickup that we announced last summer, the city has discontinued the four-week April spring cleanup. I remind everyone they should not put out any large items unless they call and schedule a pickup the number you call is 870-1550, or you can also go online and schedule it that way. Here's a quick review for everyone of the large item pickup program and how it works. City residents now have two options for scheduling pickup. The first is to call the number 870-1550 between 8.30 a.m. and 4.30 p.m. Monday through Friday to schedule a large item pickup. We're asking residents to call at least 72 hours or three days before their scheduled pickup date. Or they can log on, the second option, you can log on to, to our website and sign up through CityGrows at www.erie.pa.us backslash large item pickup. You'll continue to receive a confirmation number as we've been doing to confirm your pickup. Pickup will take place on your regularly scheduled garbage night. Once you're scheduled, you may put up, uh, out up to three large items for pickup that night. The number of pickups is limited to 40 per night. And when you receive your confirmation, you'll be told the night your pickup will be, just in case it's not the next day. It may be a week out. Since city residents can now dispose of large items throughout the year, this eliminates the burden of storing a bunch of stuff in your garage or your basement. Also. By eliminating the April spring cleanup, our public works department will begin street sweeping, pothole, patching potholes, and also cleaning up our parks a month earlier than we were able to do in the past. There have also been a few issues with people placing large items, actually there have been very few issues with people placing large items at the curb on an unscheduled date. When people do this, it is really considered illegal dumping and going forward, they will receive a ticket for doing this. The current program has been very successful and is also saving the city a lot of money. In the past, every April it cost the city over $100,000 to, to dispose of the large items that we picked up. That was all during the month of April, of course. Since the year-round pickup started, it was implemented last June, 
It has only cost the city less than $28,000 to dispose of the large items so far. This is a big change effective immediately. This, this is what the big change is for everyone. Going forward, the Office of Code Enforcement will be writing a citation to anyone who places a large item at curbside without scheduling it or if anyone puts out more than three large items. Even if they scheduled, three large items is prohibited. So this is our first step in implementing the quality of life ticketing that City Council approved a couple months ago. And uh, I want to thank Kathy Shaw for being here as well and, and attending. The fine will be $25 for the ticket and it's due within 10 days. This is an effort to eliminate the illegal dumping. Who's back there? Liz Allen's back there too, behind Andy. <laughs> they couldn't see you, Liz. <laughs> this is an effort to eliminate all illegal dumping. We will initially be issuing paper tickets. This is, uh, th this is a pilot implementation of quality of life ticketing. This will help us understand what works and help us evaluate how we can fine tune the process for further implementation. And Andy, I hope everything I said was pretty accurate at least. Okay, good. Thank you. Finally today, our last item is I want to make everyone aware of, of a great program that most people in Erie are no, aren't aware of. I know I wasn't aware of it till last year. This great pro program takes place every summer here in Erie, and it really helps us create our vision of making every neighborhood welcoming and vibrant. What I'm talking about is a volunteer national program called Group Work Camps. Joanne Jeska, who is the work, Erie Work Camp Coordinator, is going to be bringing about 400 teenagers and adults to the greater Erie community to improve homes for the elderly, the disabled, and low income. And we'll be bringing Joanne up in a minute to talk. But the organization is taking applications right now from Erie residents who need certain types of repairs, which Joanne will describe in detail, to their home. There's no cost for this service. The group will be part of about 15,000 young people and adults nationally who will be participating in about 30 work, work camps across the country. So Erie is one of the 30 getting the, this uh, great help. The work camp will provide free home repairs through a group called Group Mission Trips. That's a nonprofit, interdenominational Christian volunteer home repair organization, and they're headquartered in Fort Collins, Colorado. So as many as 50 to 60 residents of the Erie region will benefit from the work volunteers do at the Lake Erie Work Camp, which will take place from July 14th to July 20th. It's a one-week program, so that July 14th to the 20th is when this will take place. The work camp uh, participants will be housed at a local school. They'll be sleeping probably on classroom floors. This is what they typically do. They'll eat in the cafeteria and they'll be enjoying their evenings and programs in the gym. This service to the community is only possible with the wonderful cooperation of the school, but group mission trips will reimburse all costs for the lodging and the food to the school. Next, now I'd like to invite Joanne Jessica up to tell you more about the program and how you can apply to get your home fixed up. Joanne. Good morning and thank you for having me this morning. I've participated with group work camps for close to 20 years as a volunteer and gone many places throughout the country as a volunteer and slept on the floor many of summers. Don't choose to do that on a daily basis, but when you're doing this, it's a blessing. Um, my, all of my, I have five children. They have all gone, I've taken groups from the Erie area to do this across the country. And we all come back a better person than what we left. Um, there'll be about 400 people and volunteers. I have to have one adult for every five youth I take. So they are very well supervised. Um, we'll be staying in a local school, um, and sleeping on the floor in classrooms, boys down one hall, girls down the other. And there's a line that you better not cross. So we're very good about keeping track of our kids while they're here. You'll never find them wandering. So um, having said all of that, um, I've coordinated here in Erie several different summers in the past. We've been out in Northeast. We've been east side, downtown. We've been all over the area. 
Um, there are those 400 people coming, and they'll be coming from all different states all over the U.S. Probably about 15 or so different states, well, 15 to 20 states will get kids from, um, all with their adults. And that'll be July 14th through the 21st. And um, we'll be able to fix up homes that are owner occupied. We'll be able to do porches, steps, wheelchair ramps, painting inside, painting outside, trailer skirting, roof coating, all at absolutely no cost to those local residents. Um, we do raise funds here locally, and all any money raised here locally never leaves here. So if there's $1,000 left at the end of our camp, it holds over for the following summer. It never leaves here. So um, what we're looking for is homes to fix. To be able to get that done, you may call me at 814-602-2884, um, or I have a few applications with me if anybody from here would like one to pass along. Um, we're also looking for any local churches or organizations or just people who are willing to help out on a local basis here. Um, needless to say, with that many people coming, all those gallons of paint and things need to get out to all those homes. So we're always looking for some volunteers locally to help get all of those materials taken care of. And it's also a great thing while the workers are serving those homes to drop off a popsicle to them and just say thanks for helping my neighborhood. So um, anyway. We look for elderly residents, disabled residents, low-income folks, and we really look for a grateful resident. And having given up your summer and slept on the floor, we really look for people that are grateful to have us in, in their homes in a safe environment. So if you know of anyone who could benefit from that, whether that be yourself or you're someone you know, please feel free to give me a call. And again, the number is 814-602. 2884. And thank you so much. Thanks very much, Joanne. And I have to just tell everybody last summer is the first summer I became aware of this program. And I had a chance to meet, actually meet many of the volunteers, had a chance to see the, the wonderful work they did in, in Erie's Lower East and Lower West Side, especially. Uh, I, I would really encourage anyone that's older, disabled, or a low-income resident that needs some, some work done in their home to give Joanne a call. I'm going to repeat her number one more time so everybody's got it, 814-602-2884. Joanne, I'm really looking forward to welcoming the volunteers again this year to look at the work they do, to see that, and also to spend some time talking with them. It's, it's going to be a great thing. One last thing, as I forgot to show you early, this is the quality of life ticketing uh, ticket that will be issued. And, I'm kind of hoping this is the last time everyone watching will see this because if they see another one, it's going to have their name on it and it's going to <laughs> cost them $25. So this is the quality of life ticketing. Thanks again for everyone for being here today, especially Perry and Joanne. Really appreciate it. And uh, everyone that spoke will be available for interviews afterwards. Thanks very much.